Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, July 13th, 2012. We begin with a story from the world of material science. A company called Ecovative has developed an interesting alternative to conventional plastics. As you're likely aware, plastics derived from petrochemicals are harmful to the environment, degrading very slowly, if at all. Research is being done on ways to dispose of or recycle plastics in an environmentally friendly way, but ultimately there's a shift toward more biologically based plastics. Most of these new plastics are derived from plants. Some are developing protein-based polymers from chicken feathers. However, a main challenge is getting the diversity of mechanical properties found in petro-based plastics. So the two engineers that founded this company took a different approach. In some ways, their method is much simpler, using fungal mycelium as the material with minimal processing. Mycelium are filament structures used by mushrooms and other fungi to gather nutrients. They also contain the structural molecule chitin. Now the great part about using fungus is that not much is required for it to grow. Organic waste is formed into the shape desired and gets completely replaced by mycelium. The final product gets coated to prevent further growth, and afterward the material will naturally degrade. The company already has a variety of products such as packaging, insulation, and other plastics. A variety of properties can be obtained that are not dependent on what the mycelium grows in, but the species of fungus. This flexibility makes it ideal for replacing petrochemical-based plastics, and hopefully this material will find more applications. Next is a strange story from the world of physics. Strange because this story could also be classified as a biotechnology story. The Virginia-based biotech firm Biotraces is proposing a dark matter detector made from DNA. Before we get into this detector, perhaps some review on what dark matter is would be useful. It's thought to account for about 85% of matter in the universe. The best current model suggests they are weakly interacting massive particles. That means they're particles that only interact with the weak nuclear force and gravity. However, they're completely invisible by conventional observation because they don't interact with any electromagnetic waves, which quite frankly makes dark matter a bitch to find, and some current detectors are showing conflicting results. You see, our entire solar system is orbiting the galactic center, potentially through patches of dark matter. Around June, the orbit of Earth roughly aligns with this galactic orbit, theoretically creating a headwind of dark matter. However, some detectors thought to be more sensitive aren't showing this pattern of increase, which is where DNA comes in. The new detector would be a square meter of gold foil with an array of single-stranded DNA suspended from it. If dark matter interacted with the gold through the weak force, the gold nucleus would be sent flying, severing any DNA in its path. These severed strands could be then analyzed based on their base pair sequence to map the path of the gold nucleus with the incredible three-dimensional resolution. This data would allow scientists to determine the energy and direction of incoming WIMPs, confirming or denying the dark matter headwind idea. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. Also feel free to contact us, we're looking for more volunteer researchers to help with brainstorm and biohacks.